Hey everybody, it's Peter here with another GoodyReader.com reading review. Excuse my voice, I am just getting over a strep throat, so it will sound like it's not me, but it is me. Uh, this is the Sony Xperia Z2, and we're going to look at the reading experience. Now, we're not going to download anything specifically to read this, uh, to read on this, because then it would be more of what can this Android app do, not what can the phone do by default. So right out of the box, we've opened up Play Books. Uh, this is Google's proprietary book reading service that is preloaded on this device along with Google Play, Google Videos, and so much more. So this is what it looks like if you were to take the Z2, or Z2 for all you Canadians. <laughs> I'm Canadian too, but my mom is American, so I was raised to say Z because it rhymes in the freaking alphabet song. There's no such letter as VED. Look it up. Now, we're going to look at how page turns are. Very quick, very snappy. You'll see that there's a slight kind of dip from white every time you go from page to page. You can do long presses. This allows you to get a uh, dictionary definition here. We also have things like add note. Hello. Oh, uh, let's make it pink and we'll save it. So there's the pink one. Uh, we also have long press with um, highlights. So you can go like that. Oops, wrong one. You can go, you can check it. There we go, sorry. Uh, yeah, so you can change the color of it, of course, and uh, like so. And one thing that's really cool is this. Say you have this book in English, but you don't speak English, you speak, I don't know, Japanese. So you go to the little triple button here, you go to translate, and you can actually translate that entire body of text which, with you what you highlighted into any other language you want. So there it is in Japanese. We can go to, well, Javanese, <laughs> Ah, cool. And we can go to pretty much any other major language out there. Let's do Zulu. Nakako wake pala kahola Miss Haggerty. Crazy, yeah, so that is a really cool feature and we've seen this on things like the Amazon Kindle uh, where you can actually do that on PDFs and other documents as well. That is always a good feature to have because if you want to read a book like something by Charles Dickens or whatever, and you can't because of the language barrier, this kind of breaks down all the walls, which is really cool. Uh, what else can you do here? You can go to, uh, you can go here, search web for a word. So it's pretty bare bones. I mean, there are other e-reading apps that do a lot better of a job, of course, but once again, if we were to put outside apps on this thing, like Aldico or Moonreader or whatever, we would be kind of doing more of an app review as to what that particular Android app can do, but this is what it is going to look like on your device once you um, just pick it up, put a book on it, and away you go. Uh, last thing we're going to look at is the way to change text. So we have day, night, I said night. Oh, it's gonna be night before the, okay, there we go. And we also have, oh, I'm dreading going to Sepia because now it's gonna, oh, look, the menu stayed here this time. That's rather weird. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh, that just looks horrible. That looks really washed out. I'm not a fan of that. Let's go back to white. See, I say, oh no, day, okay. I was gonna say, I say Z, but I don't say white. I know Americans have a hua in their WH words and we will go to typeface you can change all these um, I actually didn't mean to click on that because it takes a really long time to refresh every single time uh, I apologize <laughs> but uh, what else we have display options brightness text size this should change live without making the menu go away hopefully now that menu goes away almost every time not a fan of that but you can cater this towards exactly how big you want the text on your screen. You can make it full size if you want. You can make it really tiny if you have good eyesight. Either way, this is the experience of the Sony Xperia Z2 with an ebook on it right out of the box. You will not see any different than this. This is me not downloading any other uh, reading service. This is indeed 
uh, Google Books, as you can see right here. So if you guys like this review, if I missed anything, I apologize. Please let me know. Uh, I would like to correct it. And uh, if you guys have any other suggestions what we can do with the Z2, let us know as well down below in the comments. And for another Goody Reader reading review with the Sony Xperia Z2, brand new phone that just came out. This is Peter. Everyone have a great day. To your BlackBerry 10 device. And the ability to install Android files is actually something rather new with BlackBerry, which suddenly makes it a viable device because you don't have to rely on BlackBerry World for your apps. You can actually install apps directly from the Goody Reader App Store. Now we have Snapchat on the BlackBerry uh, phone. And in the link to this video, we'll have a, a, a direct link to download Snapchat as well as a link to our app store. Now we downloaded this from the web-based client, but you can actually